Actually, this is our second material on the third generation used Jeep Grand Cherokee. But last time the car was still very young and we managed to collect indecently little information on chronic diseases. In 2004, in collaboration with Daimler, Chrysler made changes to its flagship model and released the third generation Jeep Grand Cherokee, the WK. The body became wider, the wheelbase increased by 90 millimeters, but this did not particularly affect the cabin. But the driver's seat in the new version has become more comfortable, with many electric drive settings and position memory. Cherokee WK received three transmission options, all with permanent all-wheel drive. For those who rarely move off the pavement, the Quadratrack I was offered without a low gear, with a single-speed transfer case. The variant is the simplest and, as a result, the most reliable, but rarely found on the market. The more popular Quadratrack 2 with low gear and advanced BTCS and Quadradrive 2 is essentially the same transfer case with a center differential and an electronically controlled clutch package, with limited slip differentials, only electronically controlled on each axis. These innovations are all the more good because they do not bring financial trouble to the owners even after significant mileage figures. Due to the high probability of leakage of various seals of the transfer case and bridges on machines with solid mileage, it is necessary to undergo maintenance as it should be according to the instructions every 5,000 kilometers in order to eliminate the leak in time and add oil. If you plan to use the car hard in the fields, the oil in the transfer case and axles must be changed every 20 to 25,000 kilometers, also according to the instructions. It is worth noting the high sensitivity of the boxes of the Quadradrive 2 system to a special grade of oil. Swapping or mixing grades and low levels lead to jerks and knocks, and are fraught with subsequent very expensive repairs to the transfer case. As for the automatic transmission, it is a 5-speed, with the possibility of manual control, and with reasonable operation usually does not cause trouble. What else about the transmission? The rear axle drive shaft crosspiece pleases with increased vitality and runs an average of 150,000 kilometers, but it is replaced along with the drive shaft, 17,000 rubles. The new multi-link front independent suspension, oddly enough, has long travel. In addition, the suspension elements have a lower mass due to the optimization of design and materials. Moreover, despite the complication, there are no problems with this node. The usual consumables for maintenance include the bushings of the front stabilizer, which often begin to knock after 20 to 30,000 kilometers. Their cost, however, is 600 rubles. The ball bearings of the upper arm are changed along with the arm, as a rule, after a hundred thousandth run, twelve thousand rubles. Rear shock absorbers can be classified as eternal parts. Although they, like any others, lose their original properties over time, it is quite difficult to kill them. But the front shock absorbers have to be changed on average every fifty thousand kilometers, fifteen thousand rubles per pair. The steering practically does not bring disappointment, operation is limited to rare minor repairs, however, when by, you should still pay attention to leaks and the smoothness of the steering rack. The following types of engines are available in various configurations, 3.7 liter single shaft 6 cylinder, 210 horsepower, a reliable, least voracious engine. The next in the ranking power unit, V8 with a working volume of 4.7 liters, 230 horsepower, pleases with improved dynamic qualities. Of the troubles, it is worth noting the frequent breakdown of the exhaust manifold studs. As a result, there is a violation of tightness, which is manifested by a strong smell of burning in the cabin and a loud roar when the engine warms up. Replacing gaskets is complicated by locksmith work on drilling studs, which can bring the total cost of repairs up to 10,000 rubles. Finally, the legendary 5.7-liter Hemi V8 engine, 325 horsepower, with a fuel economy system that allows you to turn off four cylinders is rare in our market and has no statistically significant complaints. The line of diesel engines, which received considerable recognition in Russia, was continued by the manufacturer with a 3.0 LCRD diesel engine manufactured by Mercedes-Benz. The motor is powerful, 184 horsepower, economical and quiet. During the operation of this unit, the reason for the most frequent service calls is oil leakage at the inlet to the turbocharger. This is solved by replacing the sealing rings of the turbine inlet pipe, 825 rubles. Another problem is the failure of the Swirler Electric Drive, Electronic Damper Drive Activator, which is fraught with a significant loss of power. Frequent replacement of the electric drive, 7,700 rubles, 
leads to the replacement of intake manifolds, 21,500 rubles apiece, due to wear of the connections during removal and installation. In general, the engine is very reliable, but, like all modern diesel engines, it is demanding on fuel quality. With regular use of low-quality fuel, the injection nozzle may fail. Its replacement will cost 30,000 rubles. However, such cases are rare. The electronics in the car are sociable. Many sensors in various parts of the cabin give sound and light signals. This makes sensitive owners nervous and makes them visit the service station more often. It is worth noting, however, that often alarm lights go out on their own. By the way, the Grand Cherokee WK has a very useful system that controls tire pressure. But the second owner of the WK is most likely waiting for the replacement of tire pressure sensors, since it is made after three to four years of operation. Issue price, 2,000 rubles. For the sensor plus the cost of tire fitting. There is no need to talk about any other electrical problems. For the most part, only minor troubles happen. So, due to the unfortunate location in the fight against off-road dirt, the low-tone signal disappears, and in megacities in winter, parking sensors sometimes turn out to be victims of de-icing reagents. In general, it is worth noting that an enthusiastic positive mood prevails in the reviews of the owners. The car has a solid appearance, high cross-country ability, and in the overland version it is equipped with additional protections, it is quite comfortable and democratic in terms of maintenance costs.